thing we're going to do is to create the frame and panel on which we're actually going to be painting. And this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, as with the listeners, we're going to have to create a private class uh, that does something different uh, to uh, actually make this functional panel that we can paint on. So the thing you have to understand is Java Swing has uh, this thing called a J panel, and you can do what's called extend a J panel class to give it additional functionality. And we're going to get into what extending a class means, but basically you just inherit where you get all of the functionality of the parent class, the one from which you are inheriting, but you can change it uh, to fit your desired purpose just slightly. Or you can change it drastically, but that's not usually recommended. So we don't often extend classes. Classes can only extend a single class. You can't have extends and then a list of classes that it extends. That's more information than you need right now. But we're going we're gonna to create this panel in this tutorial. Uh, so the first thing is once you have the private JFrame 1 and the panel 1, this whole uh, brushes panel working, you have to add frame 2 and panel 2. And actually we can't add panel 2 right there because it's going to be a private uh, my panel, which is going to be our J panel class. And it's going to extend that class, which we haven't created yet, is going to extend the J panel class. So uh, I'll go down and create that class right now. And there's a good reason we're doing this, obviously, uh, because we need to um, give our panel a little additional functionality so that we can um, actually paint on it. Private class my panel extends J panel. And again, this just means that our class gets all of the functionality, the tools that were built into the J panel class, but it uh, allows us to change certain aspects of the J panel class. So the one thing we're going to change is this method called public void uh, paint component because uh, we want to do specific things like <clears throat> the J panel knows how to paint itself but uh, we want it to do very specific things when it's painted. And for right now, we're just going to create this. We're not going to add any, uh, oh no, let's, let's do, let's do, so this paint component has a graphics object. And a graphics object we've used in the past is just a um, little <coughs> graphics uh, robot that knows how to paint and this one knows how to paint on panel 2. So we need to add a private graphics 2D object to our class. Uh, no, we don't need to do that up here in a field. Let's do it down here. Um, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this we can do this. Uh, so graphics is the earlier class that is in Java. Graphics 2D is the updated class and we're gonna create graphics object like graphics 2D G2 and we're going to do what's called casting, which you've done um, in the past with integers, but we're just going to cast the graphics object uh, to the graphics 2D object that we're going to use to paint everything. So the, J the J panel method that we are changing a little bit is called paint component. The J panel class sends that method a uh, graphics object when it's told to repaint itself. Uh, and we just take that graphics object and we're going to do something different with it. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do is just to create that my panel extends J panel, this private class, and create a uh, my panel object called panel2 that we're going to hang on frame2, which we haven't really defined yet, and we'll do that in the next video.